Hello everyone, Roguefox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a two block wide hidden staircase for the Bedrock Edition. The biggest challenge I faced in making this build was making sure that all the redstone timing was perfect. If one tick is off on any of these repeaters, the whole thing would break and it would just be a complete mess. Now, after some playing around and experimenting, I finally came up with a design that actually works. So, let me go ahead and show you. Right here, we have our input. Now, obviously, this would be a hidden input, but if we go ahead and hit it, our hidden staircase is revealed. We can come on down, do whatever it is we need to do. And then when we're all finished, we can come back up, hit our input again, and everything will close right back up and is nice and flush with the floor. For this tutorial, just to save some time, all we're gonna build today is half a side. Because if you take a look here, once you build half a side, all you need to do is mirror it on the other side. Now to build half a side, all we need is a four by five area, just like this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our resources for that half side. So let's come down here, open our chest. There's all of our resources. Now, if you wanna go ahead and pause the video, do that, grab those supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, we wanna place in our floor and our sticky pistons so we can set our foundation. And to do that, what we wanna do is come to our bottom left corner here. We wanna come six blocks up. So six blocks like that, that's gonna be our floor level. We can knock these out and then go ahead and place a block here. And they come out one, two, three, four blocks like that. And then place one more block like that. So it should look like that. Now go ahead, come to this block right here. Come right behind it, place a temporary block. Get two sticky pistons, come down underneath, and then place two sticky pistons facing in this direction like that. Now we can knock this out. Knock this out for now, place a sticky piston facing up, and then we want to put a block on its face, and then we can put a block back. From there, we want to go ahead, come to this block right here, come one over, and then we want to place a block down like that. Two sticky pistons facing up with a block on its face for our double piston extender. And then right where we place this block, we want to place another sticky piston facing up, so like that. And then put one more block on its face. And right there, you can start to see our staircase. Now go ahead and grab one more block, come to this top piston right here, and place it right there, completing the staircase. I know that's a lot, but here's a side profile of what it should look like. Now let's go ahead and start wiring this thing up. Now it's time for some redstone fun. Now I must warn you, this next segment is going to be very wordy, and on top of it, I'm a little congested. So hopefully I'm able to make things as clear as I can. So what we want to do is come to this piston right here, place two blocks like that. And then we want to come one block down, so let's go ahead and do that. Now what we want to do is come over to this bottom piston right here, place a block. Get your glass block, place it right there. Get your blocks again, come to the back of the bottom piston this time, and place four blocks. So it should start to look like that. Now let's go ahead and grab a redstone dust and run it around like this in an L shape. We want to come up here, and I do have an input, so let's turn that off. And then let's go ahead and place redstone dust right there. Two repeaters, set both of these to four ticks. Remember, follow my ticks exactly in order for this build to work properly. And then place one piece of redstone dust right here, running into our top piston. Now to see what we wired up, let's go ahead and activate it. So we have extension on this piston right here. And also we have extension on these two pistons here, pushing our piston and block out. Now what we need to do is power this piston. So in order to do that, we need to power this block. So let's go ahead and do that. So from here, if we want to come two blocks up, let's get rid of that. Come one block up like this. So rest under this piston right here. And then come around and we want to place two more blocks just like that. So it should finish right under our glass block. Now the reason for the glass block is so we can run our redstone signal down. So go ahead and place a piece of redstone dust right here. Grab your repeater, run it into the block right here, and set that to four ticks. Now let's come around the corner. We want to grab our repeater again and run a repeater into this white block here. That is set to one tick. And there you go. You see we get our extension, and then also a partial extension, our double piston extender. Now this is where it got complicated for me and why it was so challenging, is because now we had to work with all the redstone timing in the repeaters, but Enough of me rambling on, we're not going to get into all that. Let's take a look at what we have here. It's powered, if we unpower it, 
everything retracts and then if we power it again we get our extensions here now all that's left to do is wire up our double piston extender here so let's go ahead and do that and hopefully you guys were able to follow along in all that nonsense i was speaking now let's go ahead and come around to the front of our build once again so right now nothing should be powered everything should be off just in case if you were testing it now what we want to do we want to power our double piston extender so come down to this gap right here and we can see the top piston of the double piston extender go ahead and place a block right up against it like this get a rest on repeater and run it into this block right here and leave that set to one tick so if we come around to the side here our repeater is running into this block right here and then you should see it right there now let's go ahead and finish wiring this up so we want to come around to the front again come one block down one block up like this so our shape should look like that grab a glass block and then place it right against the bottom piston now let's grab our restaurant repeater we want to run a repeater into the block right here set that to three ticks and then come around on top of our glass block run a repeater into this top piston here and we want to set that to four ticks now earlier we placed this block down to set up our pistons i'm going to go ahead and knock this out and replace it with a colored block just so we can understand it better and then i'm going to knock this one out as well now the only thing left to do is to place a block right here so we have this gap get some redstone dust put one down like that and then we want to place a repeater and run it into the block right there and leave that set to one tick and there we go that should be everything wired up so let's go ahead and give it a test there we go everything extends everything is nice and flush with the floor level and then if we turn the power off you see we get our staircase here come on down there's a white block and we can go ahead and fill this up right here so nothing's showing just like that and once more retraction extension and there you have it folks the two wide hidden staircase like I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial, if you want to build the whole thing, all you need to do is take the design we did here today and mirror it on the other side. Now if we take a look at this thing in its entirety, you can tell why we only did have a side. Everything starts getting very cluttered. Because we try to keep everything as compact as possible, we start looking in and it kind of looks like a mess. But if we take a look at just half a side, it looks a lot more clean and I feel that is very more understandable than if we try to do the whole thing with that being said this is the end of our tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been rogue fox and i'm out i'll see you later